Hey everyone, my name is Sam. I am one of the co-founders of Startup Cookie. We're a content marketing agency. And I just did a video where I tried to see how many clicks it would take for me to set up my accounting and bookkeeping within Puzzle here. If you're curious, the answer was 12. So you can go watch that video if you want. But now I want to explore what we actually have to work with here. So I'm just going to kind of go through the dashboard and maybe a few other pages here and just kind of see what we have to work with. So at the top here, I've got today's cash. This is my current balance and reconciled daily. One thing I did note initially that I love is that they put all of the definitions in here. So I'm a business owner. I'm not an accountant. Obviously, I have an understanding of my own financials, but I don't get too bogged down in the nitty gritty of things. And I definitely don't want to be making any mistakes because I'm understanding a definition incorrectly. So I love that they just put everything here. Um, and then th this tab's made me chuckle if anyone's scarred from the bank run last year. <laughs> You can see how to uh, get more protection here, which is a very, very fun feature. Get more coverage. Um, so yeah, just a very good high level cash level here. It's got your accounts that are connected. And I guess I'll move on to the net burn. One thing I should mention too, is that everything here is real time. So that's actually what made me uh, get convinced to sign up for Puzzle. It's the, the past onboarding is great, but what I really wanted was real-time financial data because we are working on cutting down our costs. And so I don't want to see what I was spending a month and a half or even up to like two months ago with some of the delay. I want to see what we're spending right now so that if we are on track to have a high spend month, I can correct that as quickly as possible and we won't have a problem at the end of the month. So uh, you can look at your net burn, um, three month average or just the last month total bank burn, uh, operating income. And then I guess if you want to set up a custom hypothetical burn rate, you can. I'm not really going to mess around with that because I just care about our actual burn that we are working with right now. Okay, runway run rate. It's kind of a hard thing to say. So we are currently at 10 months, but I love the high level view. You just kind of see where you're at. Uh, they integrate with other runway tools and just give you all of your data right here so that you always know where you're at. Uh, what your default is. And of course, you can export everything. So I'm not going to do that right now, of course. But, you know, whenever you need your data, it's available to you. And I like these templates. I do think I'm going to mess around with these because I could probably put in some work in just maturing our systems and workflows internally. So the forecasting, I honestly think that the data they have for me within the dashboard will be enough. But the budgeting model, I think that's one that I will probably go use. Okay, so let's now look at the net burn and cash balance chart here. I like this just because I like to see which way things are trending. And so that's what made us really want to uh, work on our spending is that we realized that we had some spending creep happening and we weren't necessarily increasing our output with it. It was just that we started collecting more tools, more contractors that we're using and kind of crazy how that can happen without you noticing. So I really like the trends here of the spending, the revenue, uh, knowing just what your net burn is and, you know, kind of what direction you're going. So it helps you take out the outliers and really focus on the data that you need. Okay, so let's first start down here with the cash activity. So you've got a couple of views here. You can just compact, get a summary or a super detailed view. That's just with them all expanded. So I'll probably just focus on the compact view here. You can, of course, change the date rate and, you know, whether you want to look at a total, a month, a quarter, a year, whatever planning you're doing. But my favorite thing here is the spotlight. So here, this will help you focus on, as it says, the most important types of cash activity. What that means is that you can set the percentage and a dollar amount trigger. I love this because what I can do is now set these and then I can just come in and quickly see what's happening. If there's something drastically, you know, uh, good or bad happening, <laughs> a big change is either going to be good or bad, but Either way, I want to know about it, and I want to know about it immediately. So again, this goes back to this real-time component. I just don't know how business owners are making decisions without real-time data. Like if you're looking at old information, there's just no way that you can steer the ship quickly. It's sort of like, I don't know, steering like a giant cruising ship versus a car. It just takes so much more to change direction. And by the time you change your direction, it might be too late. So those are some of the problems we are experiencing and why I'm super excited to give this kind of real, real time data tool a world. So again, I'm not going to export anything. I think this looks like pretty much it in the dashboard tab. So let's look 
now to the monthly checklist, maybe. Okay. Nice. So here you can just sort of set up everything that you need to do to handle your accounting, your bookkeeping, your financials, all that good stuff. And this is how I like to work. I'm a huge checklist person. I just like to know everything that I need to do. So that's wonderful. Um, you know, you can set it up however you need for your company. If you need to collaborate with people, it makes that super, super easy because obviously you're going to have to have different people completing different things. But what I really love on this page is the important tax day. Oh, I always hate that feeling when it always seems to occur to you when you're like about to fall asleep or something and you're like, oh my God, did I miss X deadline? Um, and so it just tells you right there, the important ones that you need to know if you need help with for an upcoming deadline, you know, doing your taxes, you can just tap someone in as you need, but you can just do it on your own until you need help. That's really, really nice. You don't have to commit one way or the other. It's a nice hybrid solution. And I haven't tried their chat, but it's nice that you can just chat with their team too. If you have a question about how, you know, something's working or something seems confusing. Okay, so then let's go check out the reports page. This is pretty basic. I'm not going to spend too much time here, but yeah, it looks like you can just export anything that you want. So whether someone on your team needs this, whether you're raising around and you need this information to report for fundraising, it's all just right here and good to go. It's kind of nice. I'm not going to go through the accounting or the ask an accountant page. <laughs> Maybe I'll explore that more when we get closer to the tax deadlines. Um, but I do want to explore some of these financial exploration tabs. So transactions, um, this is the one that I'm really obsessing about right now, because like I said, we are trying to cut down, uh, on our spending. And so this lets me just see everything that's happening in our account, helps me flag things. You can of course see them by categories here. Spending. Uh, similar story on this one, we can see our actual vendor list along with our spending. So we didn't spend anything today yet. It's the first day of February. Um, so, you know, go back to January and then we can see everything by category, our top vendors, um, payroll spending, you know, it's broken up into non-payroll and payroll. Right now we're primarily focusing actually on our non-payroll. We're trying to cut down on all of these recurring fees that we have. Then you can actually look at your vendors. Um, it's a little similar to the last tab, but here they're all kind of collected in one place. You can decide if you want to move forward with them. You can see really easily where to cut waste, cut down on your spending. I, I just think all of these views make it to see something where you're like, you know, maybe we go into like the DoorDash category. It's like, oh my God, we spend so much money on DoorDash this year. That's embarrassing. Um, so, you know, again, even if it's bad news, you want to know it, you, you want to know it so that you can fix it quickly. So all the information is really clean. The revenue tab here, uh, this is just good for reporting. Um, I, I think this is primarily good for like board reports, investor reports, stakeholder reports, just makes it super, super easy to do all of that. So you don't have to spend the time. I think that's pretty much it. Back to the main dashboard here. This is my favorite place. Uh, it just makes it all so much fun to look at it. I think this is the first time that I've actually looked forward into going into a platform to dealing with our finance reporting instead of some scary, awful spreadsheet or within QuickBooks or something. So definitely check this out. There's a lot that I didn't explore, and I just think it's so much better when you actually get to explore it with your data. So set it up. It only takes 12 clicks and go see what you find.